Mia Hamm, Abby Wambach, and Brandi Chastain. Who are these females? Well, they're some of the most well-known soccer players from the U.S. Women's National Team. They... But my personal favorite soccer player is Alex Morgan. She's been my idol since I was eight years old, and today I'll be introducing her to you all. Today we'll be going over her youth, her soccer career, and finally her family now. Alexandria, oh my gosh. Alexandria Morgan, born July 2nd in Diamond Bar, California. She was born and raised there, and she has two sisters, Jenny and Jury, and they're six and four years older than her. She's the youngest, and with that, she has had to compete for her whole life for everything. But her and her sisters are actually very close, especially her and her sister Jury, who, which makes sense because they're closer in age. And her other sister, Jenny, has been a mother figure to her, especially since her mom had to go back to school at nights. So she picked up the job of cooking and taking care of the family. According to Morgan's autobiography, Breakaway, family game night was the highlight of the week on Wednesday nights. Her family is very competitive and they thrive in competition. Family game night was a time where they got to compete and figure out who was the best on that night. Her dad, Michael Morgan, let everyone know when he won. He would dance around the house and make it known that he was the clear winner. Her mom, on the other hand, was the opposite. She was very calm and would just say good game. With that, it carried over into Morgan's soccer career with both competition, competitive sides. Morgan played many sports growing up. She played baseball, basketball, volleyball, track, and of course soccer. She, at a young age of eight years old, she knew soccer was her passion and what she wanted to do. At just the age of nine, her and her dad, her dad would make practice schedules for her and train and learn the game and train Morgan for her future, um, stated in her autobiography. He would make, he would have drills and speed work ready for her every, every day and she was completely ready for it. She loved training and working hard for her goals. Um, her first, mm, at nine years old, she had a speed coach hired from her, by her parents. But at the age of 13, she decided she needed to be at the higher level. She tried out for a club team and didn't make it surprisingly. The coach told her that she had she didn't know anything about the game and all she had was unmatched speed. This was devastating for Morgan considering she thought she would make it. But she worked hard every day and continued to work towards her goal and practice with her dad. She tried out for a different club and made it the Cypress Football Club and she trained with them and had coaches named um, named Dave, Sal, and Eduardo, who would train with her before, during, and after practices, and would teach her, would take the time to teach her the game itself. With training with them for six months, she got a call from Cal South ODP. And if you don't know what ODP is, it stands for the Olympic Development Program. And they, with this team, it's to scout out talent for the national team and see who the next people are. She was very excited about that and was ready for that. 
I, her dream began to come, come true at just the age of 16. She got a call from the U16 national team and got called up. She was very excited and was well deserved of it. She, after the national team, she then went on to a, her junior year to commit to a college, UC Berkeley, what, Cal for short, where she where she went on to play soccer for them and continue her academics. Um, those. <laughs> At age 22, she went on to play for the FIFA U20 Women's World Cup Championship in 2008, where she scored the winning goal in the championship to help the U.S. win. She then, in 2012, went to the Olympics to win her first gold medal at the 2012 Olympics. She then went to the 2015 World Cup Championship and again won and scored, I think, the winning goal. Hmm. And then 2019, she went to the World Cup Championship again to win her second gold. Now, it may sound like she has had many accomplishments and have achieved everything, but she also has her children's book series, The Kicks, her autobiography, Breakaway, her movie, Alex and Me, her own Barbie doll with Barbie, her own training program, Train Like a Pro, and her clothing line that she has with both with two of her teammates from the U.S. Women's National Team, Kelly O'Hare and Ali Long. She also has done a serious amount of modeling, but mainly for her um, sponsor, Nike. Um, again, all of her accomplishments seem to be like she's won everything, but nothing is more important to her than family. She met her husband, Servando Carrasco, in college at Cal. He is also a soccer player, and their love story just grew from there. They went on to get married New Year's Eve in 2014. And just a few, a couple years later, they had an announcement that they were, they were having a baby. Soon, by the Bleacher, BleacherReport.com announced that on, a, on May 7th, 2020, at 11.30 a.m., Charlie Elena Carrasco was born. There was many different opinions about Morgan's training while pregnant. She had many hate comments on her Instagram posts, but when Charlie was born, she came out a perfectly healthy baby to put the rumors at rest that she was fine. Charlie goes everywhere with Morgan and loves to watch her mom play. She's always on the field after games, ready to jump into her mom's arms. Her Morgan's best friend, Cindy LaRue, on her club team, Orlando Pride, and the women's national team also has a baby that's a year older than Charlie named Rox, who is, who is Charlie's best friend and they love to celebrate with their mom after games. 
Morgan, before Charlie was born, she has been a dedicated dog mom for many years to her two pit bull mixes, Kona and Blue. The 18 states that Morgan says that before Charlie, they were the love of her life. She makes it very apparent that they go everywhere with her and they're very protective of Charlie. Um, Carly Lloyd, Hope Solo, and Christy Rampin, legends. These amazing women have had many amazing accomplishments for the women's national team, but I still think no one compares to my idol, Alex Morgan. We have gone through her youth, soccer career, and family now. There is no doubt in my mind that Morgan will go on to do many amazing more things. I hope you learned all about this ambitious soccer player. Thank you. <laughs> Sweating my butt off.